Jesus and everything that has breath. Praise the Lord. Amen. Our, our choir, they're warming up for their musical that's coming up. We, on the third Sunday of this month, and we are excited about that. So we want to thank them for helping to usher in us for this time of worship today. Thank our deacons, thank our ushers as well. Thank you, St. Mark. Any good to be back in the house of the Lord one more time? Amen. Amen. Every first and third Sunday, we have, in addition to our adult service, we have our children and our youth service that is taking place over in the Ed Center. So if parents, if you want your children, if you want your youth to play part in what's happening over in the Ed Center, you can take them over now. And you have people who are prepared and are waiting for them. So any children, any youth in the house that want to go and express themselves in their own way to the Lord, you can go over to the educational facility. Yeah, they're waiting on you. I had the, the privilege, the opportunity to, to bring the message on last time, I think it was third Sunday of last month, to our youth. And we, we had a good time. We, we had a good time over there. And I told them, I, I want to go and have church with them. Yeah, we, we had a good time on last third Sunday. And so we want to uh, share that with others who would like to go and be part of it. And every now and then, uh, add us up and just look in on and see what they're doing. You, you just might be surprised. You just might be surprised. We're now up to our time of giving and receiving. If you will prepare yourself to support this time of giving. And then also, if you have any prayer requests today, if you write that down, we will and hand it to the usher. We have a preacher who is going to pray on your behalf. <laughs>
in heaven, we do thank you for the privilege, the opportunity to play part in kingdom building by the sharing of a portion of the financial resources that we have. Now, Lord, we ask that as we have given in good faith, that you would take what has been given, that you would allow us to be good stewards of what has been received as we administer these resources. Pray, Lord, that what we do with them will not only be to our good, but to your glory. And we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. So righteous. For you said, even at our best, 
our righteousness is but filthy rags in your sight. It's only by your grace and your mercy that we're here on this morning. We thank you for being kind and a loving God who loves us in spite of our shortcomings. We thank you for being a caring God who cares about the things that we go through on this earth. Struggles in our lives. Lord, that you're there to help us through. Even in our weakest moment, you are there to give us strength. In our time of grieving, you, you are there to comfort us. Thank you, Lord, for the goodness. Lord, I know at times it's, it's hard to see your goodness with all the killings and diseases, same-sex marriages, wars, and terrorist acts. Regardless of all these unlawful things, you are still good. You are still God, and beside you there is none of Now, Lord, we ask your blessings upon the sick and the shut in. Lord, we ask your healing power upon them right now. Lord. Let them know, Lord, that you are God who, who can heal just by sending your word. Lord, we thank you for your healing power. We thank you for your word, Lord, that goes forth and accomplish those things you set out to do. Lord, bless those who are bereaving right now. Bless those who are lonely right now, Lord. Those who are contemplating suicide. Those who don't know how to make ends meet, Lord. Let them know that you are a healing God. That you are a comforting God. And Lord, that there's hope in Jesus Christ. There's healing in Jesus Christ. Lord, whatever we're looking for in this world, we can find it in the name of Jesus. So Lord, we just ask that you bless right now. Bless this service, Lord. Bless St. Mark and all the members, Lord. Bless each and every one of us in the only way that you know us. Lord, bless the preacher who's going to stand and bring you up. Give him a word from on high, Lord, a word that will change souls, Lord, a word that will cause someone to come run. What must I do to be saved? And Lord, let's not we forget, Lord, we ask for forgiveness of our sins. Lord, if there's anything that we've done on this past week that was not pleasing in your sight, Lord, we just ask your forgiveness right now. In the mighty name of Jesus, we ask it all. Let us all say amen, amen, amen and amen.
Give me a break. Give me a break. If you, if you would, just, just, just stay right there for it. You know, just looking at the choir. The choir is singing like they mean it, but but I hear I don't know if God really means the prayer talk to the Lord. Just say, you can put in that last part back in the left side. Put the Lord like you mean it, Lord. Put your hands in there. Let's praise the Lord this morning. Saturday morning, November 8, 2014, at 10 o'clock a.m. to decorate 
for the Veterans Day program. If you come in here, we will leave on time. Thanks in advance for your help. That's from Sister Sandra Williams, President, Reverend Adam Madison, Pastor. The Metropolitan Baptist Minister's Wives will meet at St. Mark in the Fellowship Hall on next Saturday at 10 o'clock a.m. Please pray that God blesses this event. The food distribution program for November will be on Thursdays, November 6th and 20th. All are invited to participate. Time is usually between 1.30 and 3.30 p.m. Food for thought. In everything, give thanks. In everything, give thanks to God, our Father in heaven. In Jesus' name, give praise for all that we have been given. In everything, give thanks for all the good things we own, for the temporal needs we have for all things under his throne. In everything, give thanks for all our spiritual blessings, for the word, the truth, the life, for the forgiveness and confessing. In everything, give thanks for all the mercy he's given, for grace, election, redemption, for the adoption of the forgiven. In everything, give thanks for all the adversaries, adversities of life, for peace, joy, and comfort, for renewal from daily strife. In everything, give thanks, for this is God's will. In Jesus' name, give praise, and his love will see you through. May everyone be blessed and have a blessed week. I believe Sister Madison has an announcement. Oh, I'm sorry. She had already inserted into the announcements. Thank you, Sister Madison. Everybody have a blessed week. Good morning. Good morning. You can do it better than that. Good morning. Good morning. All right. Amen. Good to see you. Good morning. 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 Amen. It was very orderly and very well put together. So to all our youth sponsors, we thank you so much for your time that you dedicated it. To some of the brothers who came out to be out to keep a watch over our affair, I want to thank all of you too for all your concern and dedication to police the area. We thank you so much for that. And the food for thought. For an upset stomach, the word of God is a good laxity. Right. <laughs> you get that on the way home. <laughs> All right. And also, Tuesday is a very important day. God has already preordained the hour. But the children of God should never slack their responsibility to prayerfully go to the poll and to select men and women of godly stature. Not to be enticed and influenced by what people say, but what God leads you to do in selecting the person, best person that will do the right thing in governing the people. I would suggest that you would read Romans 13 and it will help you to understand that it is not so much your vote, but it is the influence of spiritual guidance that God will select the people. But when we select the people, we'll find out that we get what we select. Amen? So don't be fooled by the old okie doke but you're the person that's going to get knocked out. And when it comes down to it, whenever you see people who have tons of money in their office, it did not come from people like us. It did not come from people who are less fortunate. It came from the people who can afford to buy them in order to keep that program in existence. So maybe you ought to think about 
these things when you get ready to go to the polls. Hopefully, you've already voted. And young people, don't embarrass yourself by saying my vote don't count. It does count. And you need to be involved in civic affairs. And you need to be astute as to what's going on because what you fail to realize is that times are going to get harder because of the people who have special interests. And guess what's going to affect the most? You and your family to be. So be wise and do the right thing. Go to the polls on Tuesday and vote your God-given conscience and pray that God will put people in an office that is going to do the right thing. Amen? Amen. 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 Now, Bible study is on Wednesday night. And I want you to understand there's something going on in Bible study. God speaks from His Word, through His Spirit, through the person who teaches. And that's exciting to me to know that we have teachers who are considered worthy vessels that God can pour out rivers of water that will quench your thirsty soul and feed your hungry mind for what God will have you to digest. Bible study is the best way to keep establishing a personal relationship and fellowship with God. Don't put more interest in things than you do God. Because God can take you away from things. Then the question will be of the rich farmer. As he says, then who shall these things belong to? Say amen. So don't get wrapped up in things. Get tangled up in God. Don't worship the blessing, but worship the blesser. And you can't get it right until you get into the Word of God. And we have some good teachers here. So the Barry is a good teacher. Very qualified, prepared, a graduate with a master's in teaching. Brother Range, well qualified. Student of DTS, that was Theological Seminary. Well qualified. We have people who can do the job if you just only take enough interest and enrich your life and well-being by knowing truly who God is. And one thing I've come to learn, whenever you know who God is and who you are, it makes a good team to do what God has purpose in your heart. Amen? Amen? Now, another thing. Our building fund. We're still asking you to sacrifice a little more and give it to the building fund. And let's pay this building off. We can do it. We can do it. Amen. God has so ordained we can do it. But it takes those who are willing to give and we can get it done. Amen? Amen. 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 Let's remember, when you're out of church, your funds are out of church. And if you're going to be out of church, mail your funds on Wednesday. It'll be here by Sunday. Amen? Amen. TXU, Bounce, and all these other people, they get theirs every day it is due. Am I right or wrong? So why shouldn't the church 
get from you what God has purposed in your heart to give. Amen? Amen? Okay, I'll let them know. Good to see all of you here today. A lot of people still out today. Let's make ourselves a committee of one and let's, let's call our members and those who are sick and shutting. Let's call them, send them a call, or let's go by and see them. You know, your time's coming. And all you've got to do is look at the walls and wonder where everyone is that you are so associated with. It's a hard and saddening feeling to know that nobody is thinking about you in your presence on their phones and through their phones. Amen? Amen? So do unto others as you would have them what? Do unto you. Amen. Our choir looks good today. They're dressed in uniform. They look good. And they sound good. So, be in prayer for them. And they're wanting to do their, their annual day. When is that day coming up? You all ready? Are you all ready for it? Didn't sound like they were ready to me, huh? Are we going to hear some new music? Are we going to hear some new music? I'm not talking about that man, I'm talking about music. <laughs> Let me sit down. I didn't hear that.
strange God, our Heavenly Father, for this another glorious and grand day of His love and His mercy. God is so good. When you think about what He's done in your life, and you began to count the many blessings to see what God has done, you can't help but to thank and please God. But you know there's another song that says, I am satisfied with Jesus. Because he's done so much for me. But the question comes to me as I think of Calvary. Is my master satisfied with me? That's a question that every child of God ought to ask. Because when you take spiritual inventory and you see what God has done, is doing, and has promised to do, it should ignite our spirits to do better and to give God our best and worship and serve Him as the sustainer of all of our lives. We have with us today, and I call him a friend because he has shown himself to be friend, who has come to visit us, and I believe this is his fourth visit with us. And he's interested in Christianity from the black perspective. None other than the person of the Reverend Dr. McCall, who is an African-American consultant with Southern Baptist Convention. He's a man that they rely on him to give them the pulse of the religious experience in the black church. And I found him to be very serious about what he does. And we've invited him to come to share with us what our God has placed in him. And as he comes to pour out of himself what God has placed in. Get your spiritual cup and drink of the living water that the Lord has waiting for you. And after the singing of the morning hymn, the next voice you will hear is that of the Dr. E. W. McCall who will come with us and share with the word that God has given me. Amen. Amen. Amen.
these august words are penned by the Apostle Paul. He says to us here, he says, For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night, the Bible said, that same night, in which he was betrayed to pray. When he had given thanks, he broke it, said, take he, this is my body, which is broken for you. This do ye do in remembrance of me. The same manner also he took the cup. He had sucked, saying, This cup is the New Testament, new covenant in my blood. This do ye as oft as ye drink it in remembrance of me. For as often as ye eat this bread and drink this cup, to show the Lord's death till he come. Wherefore, whosoever shall eat of that bread and drink of this cup of the Lord unworthy, shall be guilty of the body and the blood and blood of the Lord of the Lord. But let a man examine himself. So let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. He that eateth and drinketh unworthily eateth and drinketh damnation to himself. Not discerning the Lord's body. We would be uh, seated and the battle is open and let's have a good we'll bless them on this world. Yeah. Father, Holy, come to them. Thank you for a blessed privilege and opportunity to share with this these God people. Father, bless our words and make the fun. Rescue us from us. Have your way. Father, thank you for this gracious text, this wonderful tradition. Be with us your name. Amen. 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 To God's help and your prayer. I want to walk with you from this thought. How to approach this thing. All right. All right. How to approach this thing. I'm a firm believer that preaching is much few as it is full. your prayer to see an opinion that you can pray you can pray not only for me but with me. Yeah. All right. There is a distinction. You can pray with me, for me and go to sleep. Right. <laughs> but if you pray with me, you gotta stay along and hear what God has to say. Like he does. 
when you find a man like that, you ought to do what you can, all you what you can, and, and treat him well. Right? I know that's how it was. I know this was the church one time that they had a good pastor that they had. And they didn't know how to treat him. For whatever reason, he departed and made his way. But God sent them a rat. <laughs> and you know, if he stayed so long, he went, I guess God was punishing them. Because you didn't know how to treat the good man I gave you. He sent them a rascal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Rascal is, talk to me after this. <laughs> <laughs> he and, 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 and he stayed so long, he buried all the people who helped to call the good man. Yeah. You need to know when you have a good man. Yeah. Yes, I need to just say it parenthetically. Women, you need to know when you got a good man. Yeah. <laughs> And women and men, you got to know when you have a good one. <laughs> but that's, but that's, look, very emphatically, take a stare at you in read our text. How to approach this tape. Too many of us, we don't know how to approach this tape. Comes to the table with all kinds of thoughts in our mind. That's right. Sometimes somebody's thinking about what is the roast going to be ready when I get home. Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, uh, what's going on uh, uh, at somebody else's house? Uh, uh, what somebody else is wearing in church? Uh, yeah. All those kind of Amen. frivolous things. Yeah. Okay. Satan knows how to have great power. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm suggesting to you today, it is a dangerous thing yeah. not know how to come to, yeah. to approach this thing. Yeah. Paul here in his writing uh, seems to paint a significant, prolific painting to us uh, about Christ and what he means to us and what he meant to us and, and how he under adverse circumstances has on his mind. You can you know you know many of us when we are going through stuff we only think about our stuff. That's right. Yeah. 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 Am I right now? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Can't say it man, you ought to look at man. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wave at <a> man. <laughs> No, say it again, I think I'm talking. Uh, no. <laughs> but here, I found after 37 years of that, there are people who really uh, come to approach this table, table with great negativity. It is not important. Yeah. It is something that the church fathers uh, decided to do as a part of the, the ritual. Yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah. Paul Tillich talks about uh, uh, the riches of, of, of holy forms. Yeah. He talks about them. And, and here, uh, the communion is one of those. But, but, but we must look at it more than just a ritual. That's right. Yeah. That's right. It has a deeper meaning. Yeah. If you're born again. There you go. Uh, if you really know him as Lord and Savior, you need to know this is, this, this is just not something you do just to do something. That's right. That's right. Not for everybody. Yeah. Those who are born again. Uh -huh. Then baptized. Mama should bring the baby and, and take some bread and put it in the mouth. Come on now. Right. Not for the baby. Right. This is not of the Catholic Church mentality. We, 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 we know what we're doing. Yeah. When we accept him as Lord and Savior. That's right. We are age. So Paul comes to us in, in a very serious manner, yeah. speaks to us uh, about, he, he, he kind of my way, he sets a sentence and talk. He brings us to a holy place. Right. He, 
he lets her know that like, like Moses was one day, that he's on holy ground. We're, we're coming here. This is the holy book. That's right. Yeah. Please to us and do not take it lightly. Yeah. So, first thing I want to remind you today, uh, how to approach this table. Uh, would you need to approach with a mind that think? Think. Yes. Uh, you asked, asked my grandson the other day, son, what, what were you thinking? Uh, I don't know. Uh -huh. I just said to myself, you want thinking. Yeah. Yeah. Because when you think about what you're doing, you do better. Yes. Amen. Amen. When you think about who you're hanging out with, you quit, you, 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 you find a better pride. Yes. Yes. What, what were you thinking? So here, we need to have time to think of what it says in verse 23. Paul says, For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you. All right. Now what Paul is trying to say, he wants to eliminate yeah, yeah. Any possibility of contamination yeah. mm. of what he's about to say. Right. Now, now, you know what I mean by that. Uh, have you ever played as a child and passed the word down and, and you get there? By the time you get to the end, yeah. 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 it's not a part of the I heard and they said problem. Yeah, yeah. When I, I heard, but what did you? Paul is saying, this I did not hear from the apostles. Right. I, I did not find, I did not, uh, you know, bring this, what they, what I'm about to tell you, did not fit its way to the mind of mortal men. Yeah. Yeah. It came to Jesus Christ. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. Remember, it was at Damascus Road one day. But, 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 but he said, we need to uh, come, uh, come to the table with a mind that thinks, he says. says here, uh, and he said that, that, that he took bread. When he had given thanks, yeah. look at that word thanks. Yeah, yeah. He didn't say when he had given grace. Uh -huh. <laughs> give grace, yeah. you're about to eat a meal. For your body consumption. Yeah. This is a spiritual man. Yeah. Yeah. We, we need to know. We need to know what's spiritual and what's and, and what's secular. Yeah. It says to us here clearly here. He says, uh, when that that he had uh, take given bread and he said and said and then he said take when he had given things he broke it. Not somebody that he broke his body was broken, but when he broke it, he said, take, eat. This is my body. This is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. This is my body. He gave thanks and he he broke it and as he sat around the table that night, he gave thanks and gave it to his disciples. He said, do this in remembrance of me. All right. Now, I began to look at that statement and try to analyze it, try to give up, uh, even a full of meaning, uh, as one commentator would say, uh, and to what really was he talking about yeah. in remembrance yeah. of me. Think about, first of all, we need to think about the goodness of God. Yeah, all right. How he loved us so much that he would send his only son That's right. to a sin sick world and die for us. Yeah. Right. He says, Remember me. Yeah. Not, not Buddha. Yeah. Not Confucius, all right. not Mohammed, yeah. but me. Yeah, yeah. You see, because uh, I, I like to say one thing in passing, uh, passing parenthetically, called no man God, 
who does not have Jesus as his son. Yeah. Yeah. Many of us, hey, our kids go off to school uh, for whatever reason, but I'm this and I'm that. But we, you need to know his only name, God. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Once they, yeah. And, and, and I, I remember as this lady that was singing that song, I know you all so oh, boy, you hadn't heard it. Uh, of course, love got to do with it. Yeah. <laughs> and, and she got away from her roots. And, uh, she was uh, Muslim and Buddha. And she was coming, uh, born over in a foreign country, one of us lived in. And they were going through a bag. And her Buddha fell on the ground. And burst into pieces. Now, I don't want any God. I can tell you my bag. <laughs> You see, call no man God who does not have Jesus as his son. There you go. Yes, sir. Yeah. He says, remember me. Uh -huh. Now, remember me, I don't care. Well, yeah, yeah. That I died, bled, died. Uh -huh. Not for my sins, my Lord. but for you. That's right. Yeah, yeah. But you know, I, 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 I took that a little further, and he wants us not only to remember him on <coughs> but remember me when good things happen to you. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. You didn't get there because of your own. Yeah, yeah. Remember the good mother you had in your life yeah. uh, that taught you about Jesus and made you go to Sunday school. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Remember uh, when you got that first job. Yeah. yeah. Remember me. Yeah. 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 It's not because you were so yeah. smart. Yeah. 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 It's because yeah. I got that before you got that. Yeah. 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 Remember me when you decided to marry. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh. Do you remember him? Uh -huh. <laughs> You decide to marry. Uh oh, you just looked at me and said, You know, I married so many people over my days, some years of passing. And this young lady came to me and said, Pastor, I, I know he's the right one. I, I said, uh, How did that, man? The Lord told Well, I said, Sister, I think he talked about it. If the Lord told you, what else am I to say? There you go. I can't go over the law. There you go. So he wants you to remember him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When good things happen to you. Yeah. He allows you to live to be a right old age. Yeah. Yeah. Remember him. Yeah. Oh, I, uh, you know, I was preaching to the church and I used to pass that say. I own a house in Las Vegas, right? And uh, I have to go back there just because I need to pay taxes and stuff back there. You know, I don't stuff. But, but, but when I go to eat sometimes, I see old ladies and old men who can't hardly get up to the, the slot machine. Pulling <laughs> 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 that. <laughs> They, they changed them because a lot of the old folks came full of left. <laughs> so they get too much conscience. I don't know, I, was, I heard it. <laughs> <laughs> Some people go, you all don't go down there. <laughs> but you know what? I know that because I see the halo around here. <laughs> and God has been too good to you uh -huh. to throw your money away like that. Yeah. But he says, remember me. Yes. Yeah. Remember your parents. I, I think I need to say it. Remember yeah. your, your cognitive grandfather. Yeah. Remember. Uh, uh, you know, what I've done to you in retirement, uh -huh. many of you have retired, yeah. and I'm looking at some mighty wealthy retirement folks. Uh -huh. Look at you, look at you. <laughs> <laughs> Remember 
Grab him at the table. I, uh, I heard a few thoughts here one day. He says, I have some good news, I have some bad news. He says, the good news is that we have all the money we need to pay off our mortgage. The bad news is in your pocket. <laughs> That's bad news sometimes. But not for you guys, not for you. After the same time, verse 25 says, also he took the cup. All right. When he had supped, saying, This cup is the New Testament of the cup, a new covenant in your life. In my blood. Testament? Covenant? Those are two potent words that you should not skip over. Because it's different than a contract. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. uh, a contract, you can cancel. Yeah. A contract. That's right. But it is a covenant between God yeah. and men. All right. All right. He's not going to cover. He's not going to cancel they, the covenant. That's right. It lives on and lives on. Says, and had, he said, this is new, the new one. Not, there's, there's some old covenant that came up, but this is the new one. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, are you a part of the new covenant? Uh, yeah. we, we are a community of covenant people. Yeah. When we come to this table, we ought to act like we are a part of a covenant community. Yeah. We yeah. ought to live like we are a part of that community. That's right. yeah. We don't love like that. There you go. Then it must be, we, we, we don't love one another like we ought to love. Them. There you go. Love right. no. it, it, it is a, a, a word that is an action word. Yeah. yeah. The little bird said, was talking, and she said, I love you. I love you. The other bird said, Tweet, tweet, show me. <laughs> You need to ask, you need to just some show me love. Uh, yeah. I have people talk about I love my pastor. Yeah, really. Show him. Yeah. Pastor, I love you. Yeah. Hmm. I was of the opinion that you have to show people. You know, I love you to you, man. Let me help you out. Uh, we're in the Thanksgiving season, we're in uh, holiday season, Christmas. If your wife come to you and tell you, I don't want anything for Christmas. <laughs> we got each other. Uh, if you believe that, <laughs> I'm going to send the book from Greens for a dollar. <laughs> you better show up with something. <laughs> I, mean, I, I mean, you better show with something. <laughs> Too many of us, we, 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 we are negligent in our thinking. Uh, yeah. When you come to this table, when you come, you, 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 ought, to, it's a, it's a, you ought to have a mind to think yeah. about what you're doing. Uh -huh. You're a child of God, you ought to think about what you're doing. Yeah. If you're a child of God, you ought to think about what you're saying. Yeah. If you love the Lord, you ought to think about how you treat one another. Yeah. You ought to have not only a vertical relationship, yeah. But you ought to have a horizontal relationship. That's right. Amen. It's how you treat your brother. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. you know, we talk about I love the Lord doing our pride. Yeah, but how do you treat one another? There you go. Uh -huh. Because yeah. we, you know, we, we wear our, 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 our feelings on our sleeves, on our shoulders. Yeah. What's she touching me? Yeah. Oh, my brother and sister. Uh -huh. we, we need to love one another. Yeah. We need to go out our way there you go. and show that we love each other. That's right. Says here, verse 25. This is my blood. My blood. You know, somebody said one day that Jesus spilled his blood. Yeah. I stopped by the table. No, he gave his blood. There you go. But when you spill something, 
We do it accidentally. He came down on purpose. I'm just glad he came on purpose. I'm just glad he came on purpose to die for you and I. He wasn't worthy of his dying. That's right. But he did it anyway. That's right. Oh, we, he did it anyway. Sometimes, you know, I, you know, I have a good wife. We've been married long time. I don't know. I tell you, I said, we had an anniversary sometimes go to church for about a year. And I said, I can't want to do I need to call the police. Oh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you took advantage of me when I was a little boy. Uh, if she was here, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> but my point is this, we need to understand how to love each other. I tell you, we've been married a long time, one wife, one woman for a long, long stage, many years. And so, we've been married for a year. That's why I tell you. Of course, she just took advantage of my little book. But how do we actually marry for one woman? One day at a time. I would not be handling the truth very well if I told you that every day was just like walking through the truth. Some days we're walking through the thorns. But I walked. And I didn't give up. I waited for two. I stayed down educated. I didn't want anybody else. I'm trying to educate my children. I'm trying to deliver my children. I took I was there for them watching to make that, that first step in. First dates and all that kind of stuff. Proms and all. I was there. Because I thought it was my man to do that. My godly man to do that. When I think about that, I think I don't give credit to myself. I remember God doing that's a God thing. It's easy to, to walk away. Yes. Sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> like a joy didn't find it too easy. <laughs> you didn't get there. You didn't get there. Let me bring it down where you can fit. It's sometimes it's easy to keep up. Because you think that leather woman gonna walk away with nothing? I don't think so. You don't have anything in you. <laughs> <laughs> but, but guess what? I found out one day. And I don't want to go on. Because my, my time is money. Uh, a, a lot of men are getting smart. They marry women with something. They go to the graveside and the man leaves. <laughs> You catch that when you get home. <laughs> <laughs> you, you need to understand that uh, you can be thankful for God. And then he, what, 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 what Paul is saying to us here, you need to trace your blessings back to him. You can't trust him, you know how to fix it. Secondly, I think I'm tell you that uh, when you approach this table, it's a, it's a time to testify. God been good to you to say something. Yeah. Yeah. You're not going to have it on the you ought to say something. He's here in your body, you ought to say something. Yeah. If he, he's giving you, he woke you up this morning, you ought to say something. Yeah. If he's giving you a decent lifestyle and a style of life, you ought to say something. Preacher, yeah. what can I say? You can't say hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. You, you can say thank you, Jesus. Yeah. You can say praise his name. Yeah. You can say holy. Yeah. You ought to say something. Yeah. Look at your neighbors and maybe you ought to say something. Yeah. You ought to testify. Yeah. Nobody, but every now and then I feel like testifying. Amen. Oh. Amen. We 
it takes up some good. I don't know how good he's been to you. But the Lord has been good to me. He's blessed me in so many ways. He's been good to me. Oh, I see you, he's been good to you. You ought to think about good pastor. Thank you. Thank you. Every church can't say that. That's right. All right, now. That's right. So, it says in verse 26, for as often yeah. as you eat this bread. Yeah. Uh, let me just say this. Uh, you know, when you hang around people that don't look at us, you know, they got something. Like that. You pick up on stuff. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Right. I noticed one thing that, you know, we have five days, we have our communion on first Sunday. They will never have that communion on first Sunday. <laughs> you didn't catch that, but that's all right. That's what that's what I'm talking about. But but, but uh, a time to testify. He says here, look what he said. For as often you eat this bread and drink this cup, you do show, you testify mm -hmm. the Lord's death till he comes. Yeah, yeah. When you show the church, so those cars on the parking lot. Is a, it is a testimony to a dying world that something's going on in that church. And there's a people there that love Jesus yeah. and a testimony that you've been saved. Yeah. So you, it's a test, you, you ought to act like you've been, been saved. Yes, sir. Yeah. You, you ought not be what I call uh, a tacit time Christian. Uh, a tacit time. You do know what testimony is. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad you asked. It's a Christian who says nothing. Does nothing. And cares about nothing. That's a tacit thing. A person who, who really uh, 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 doesn't care about how things are going. Uh, don't care about the church. Go away for months and months and months. And still expect your life to be uh, you know what Henry Blackaby said to me when he was right? Henry Blackaby says that you cannot follow God and stay where you are at the same time. You can't follow God and stay where you are at the same time. Why? Because he's always on the moon. Yeah. You ought to go and find where God is working and join him there. Yeah. Yes, sir. Stuff going on in Jesus' name. Join. Get involved yeah. in what's going on in the church. Yeah. So we need to uh, tell the spirit to testify. We have a mind to testify what God has done for you. And then uh, this is also uh, it's a time to, to, not only, but to teach. You're teaching your children yeah. what it means to be a Christian, yeah. what it means to serve the Lord, and what it means to go on in his name. He says, here in the contention in verse 26, he said, you do show the Lord death till he come. I'm telling you, I stop by telling you one day, he's coming back. Yeah. Somebody is going to come back. We don't know who's coming back. He's coming back as what? A thief and a rod in the night. But he is coming back. Yeah, yeah. And then quickly, the last thing I need to tell you, not only is a, 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 you propose to take you a mind to think, a, a mind to testify, but you also have a mind to transform. Yeah. To change. That's yeah. If you are, no, you're not right, get right with God. Yeah. Yeah. You know you're going in the wrong direction. You ought to turn around. Men and all. Men and all. Turn around. Repent. A minute and quit it. Yeah. That's what you ought to do. Uh, you know, some of us, let me just put this for a minute. We don't want to um, quit sleeping. That's right. That's right. Right. One writer says that you all have what he called a devil's earth. We, that we have what we call a devil's acre. Wow. A devil's acre. That simply means that 
There's a part of your life you're not ready to turn loose. Uh, that's right. Anybody, are, are you with me? <laughs> are you thinking about a different idea that you may have? <laughs> are you thinking about something that you can, uh, you know, I know it's wrong, but I'm not ready to switch. Now, I said, if you don't say amen, I think I'm talking about you. <laughs> and I don't care who you are. You can look at me like the old, old eyes that are on your head. I know all of us have a devil in Nobody in here is perfect. Amen. We have some things we know we need to turn loose. Amen. But we just hard. Yeah. You know, Paul said, we die, we die daily. Yeah. Some of them died slow than us. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. And when you came with Jesus as you were and all that kind of stuff, very yeah. wounded and sad, all, all that kind of you, 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 you didn't leave everything behind you. You kept some of that. We need to transform. Right? They have a mind to transform. I, I'm just trying to walk through the text. And he says, look what he says here. And then he says, now tell you, come. You know, he's coming back, you know. He is coming back. He said, well, folks, who shall eat of this bread and drink of this cup of the Lord unworthy? Yeah. Now, I don't worry about this. Do you get this? I don't worry about this. Say three other models. Uh, Unworthy simply means, oh, let me put it, say it quickly. None of us are worthy. Yeah, that's right, that's right. That's right. right. Yeah. None of us can be up, uh, yeah, I'm worthy. Uh, yeah. Oh, the Lord waking me up this morning. Yeah. No, you're not. There you go. If it hadn't happened for the Lord on this, you know, the, the clock woke me up and yeah. no, when that's fine. Right. Yeah. There's a Lord that woke you up this morning. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. A whole lot of clocks went off and people didn't get up. You're not worthy. But that word worthy is a sense of word. It does not speak in terms of what we think in English or the mindset. It talks about coming to the table of No one thinking about it is nothing. Yeah, yeah. With levity. Yeah, it's just, we're just doing something. It's a big we don't, it has no meaning. Yeah, yeah. He, he said, he said, now, you come in with that mindset. Yeah. He said, you, 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 you shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. That's you know, right. This is what he's saying. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sometimes you, you just read the words and don't understand. There you go. Come yeah. on. Yeah. Yeah. He says that you, you're just like those Roman soldiers. There you go. That put right. Jesus in the side. Yeah. yeah. You just like Pilate. You like yeah. all those people who crucified him out on the Yeah. You, you, right. are, you, are, yeah. you are doing, you are killing him again. That's right. That's right. When you do that kind of thing, when you come this way. Yeah. You, you are guilty, guilty. That's right. Of the body. Yeah. Do you really want to be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord? Come on. Do you really want to do that? Yeah. And then verse 28 says, For let a man examine Himself. Now, women, you can't let you off. That word is neutral. <laughs> Men and women. Yeah. You need to examine yourself before you come to this faith. Yeah. Yeah. So there, there is no transformation without examination. Yeah. 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 That's right. Yeah. Let me say that again. Uh -huh. There is no transformation without examination. Yeah. Well, you need to look at yourself. There you go. And the best mirror I know to help you look at yourself is the Word of God. There you go. That's right. Too many of us don't want to look at ourselves. There you go. Now, how many of you got up this morning and uh, out of the bed, uh -huh. went to the shower, and didn't look at yourself in the mirror? Ah, my love. Anybody? Didn't touch, didn't touch your hair. Those who don't have hair, I see they have a smell here. Kind of <laughs> The cross is right, you don't do that. <laughs> How many of you doing that? How many women uh, did not try to put the makeup on? Because you want to look your best. Yeah. 
You want it to look presentable. Uh -huh. Yeah. So we need to make sure that we need to examine ourselves. Not only when we go out the door, yeah. but when we talk to them That's right. on occasion like this. He said, and let him or her examine himself, and look what it says here, and be let him eat of that bread and drink of that cup. Before you come, think about it. Examine yourself. And ask the Lord for you. For what you did last night. Yeah. That's right. What you said this morning. Yeah. That's right. Examine yourself. And see if you can just, you know, you know, you know those songs say to find anything that shouldn't be. If you find it. Oh, it's when. When you find it. There's no if, because you know you're going to find it. I don't care who you are, I don't care what your position in the church, there's something wrong with all of us. That's right. Am I right? That's right. We're all just trying to do the best we can. Yeah. Oh. So, and it says in verse 29, For he that eateth and drinketh unworthy. Yeah. Eateth and drinketh damnation. Yeah. That means we're next to himself. Yeah. Not discerning the Lord's yeah. mind. You don't understand what you're doing. Yeah. And when you come here, it's dangerous. Go, go read down further. That, that many people are asleep. Yes, sir. They're dead. Yes, sir. Yeah. They're sick. Yeah. Because they, 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 they just did not take this seriously. Yeah. They did not approach yeah. the Lord's Supper, yeah. this table, where it should. Because you see one thing I found out? That the Lord is coming back. Yeah. Don't you know he's coming back? He's coming back for you, and he's coming back for me. Yeah. And I don't know how you feel about it, but I found out one thing that the Lord is. That he's coming back. Yeah. Don't you know he's coming back for those who have tried and have done what he told me to do? Yeah. He's coming back for the church. Yeah. Will you be ready? Yes, sir. Will you be ready when he comes back? Oh, yeah. oh you, you know who's coming back. Oh, yeah. oh the one who, yeah, changed water to wine. You know who's coming back. Yeah. Somebody like well, you need to know who's coming back. He is coming back. The one who changed water to wine and and when and, and the guest said, Well, you say the best right. for the last. Yeah. The same one that raised Lazarus from the dead, yeah. he's coming back. Yeah. You know who's coming back. Yeah. Oh yes, he is, oh yes, he is. He's coming back. The one who stood out on a bow one day and said to the water, Peace. Yes, the wind be still. He's coming. He's the one that's coming back. Do you know who's coming back? I know you know who's coming back. He's coming back. Yes, he is. The one that took two little fishes and five father loaves of bread. Yes, he is. And fell 5,000 men beside the women and children. Oh, I stopped got to tell you. You know who's coming back. He's coming back. Oh, yes, he is. The one who said one day to heal Peter's mother-in-law. Oh yeah, the one who hears that lady to have an issue of blood. You know who's coming back. Yeah. You don't have to ask anybody who's coming back because I believe right now you know who's coming back. Yeah, yeah the one who stood out there on cattle one day and said, uh, it's finished. Yeah. Oh, into our hands, I commend my spirit. Oh yes, oh yes, he's coming back for you and I. He's coming back if you have the mind to uh, think about what you're doing. If you have the mind, if you are, uh, he's coming back if you have the mind to, yes, to testify yeah. how good God has been to you. If you have a mind to reform, reform your life, change your ways, yes, and come and follow him. I, I know God is all right. I know he's a, he's a mighty good God. Yes. He's a mighty great God. Yes. And if you're here this morning, I trust and pray that you know how to approach this table. Yes, God bless you. Thank God. Amen. Would you, would you help me sing a song? Glory, hallelujah. I think you know that. We all do that song, don't we? Glory, glory, hallelujah. Man, I'm going to turn it over to the pastor.
no remorse.
if I can call a hand, if you will. All right. All right. You have to approach the table. Thank you, Dr. McCall, for, for those words. We need to approach it with our thinking caps on. And somewhere along the line, there should be some testifying. And God will allow some teaching moments, too. Am I right? And for those of us who are not transformed, this will be a good time to be transformed. So thank you, Dr. McCall, for, for sharing that word with us today. We've had a great time thus far, have we not? All right, now we have a chance to testify about the goodness of God through this time of giving and receiving. One of the reasons why I do get excited about the time of giving, this is personally speaking. Yes, sir. It is because I have something to give. There are a lot of people who would love to be participants in the time of giving, but they can't. Due to circumstances beyond their control, they don't have anything to give. But aren't you glad God positioned you this morning? Amen. To where you can be a participant in this time of giving. So I think we ought to be, like the scripture says, cheerful givers today. Do I have any witnesses in the house? All right. So let's, let's give today. Let's give cheerfully and generously. As God has blessed us. Our urchins are here. Thank you for being at your post of duty. Would you please come? Give us some direction. Can we get some representatives? Some, um, to help us with an offer for our urchins? All right, great. And our deacons are going to make their way to the back and consecrate themselves so that they can serve us from the Lord's table. This being first Sunday, this may be your Sunday to, to give your regular offering. If so, uh, we have some urchins here. We're going to receive that from you. We invite you to give. And as soon as we have blessed offering deacons, if you will be ready to come back and lead us to the, to the large place.
position for this time of communion. As a preacher has said this morning, as the right way to approach the table is to do some thinking. And this is a, an opportunity for us to think about what we are about to do. How we are to think about the goodness of God. How we are to think about the graciousness of God. One of the reasons why we are to think about His goodness and His grace is because through it we have been allowed to be recipients of the gift of God, which is salvation by profession of faith in the finished, complete work of Christ on Calvary. Our deacons are going to come now and they're going to serve us from the Lord's table. The bread and the wine both are symbolic of the body and the blood of Jesus.
that you pass. Amen. 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 And we, we thank her mother for standing by her. Amen. 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 Gina will always be my daughter. <laughs> Amen. And again, thank all of you again for being here. And we hope that you care those thoughts home with you. Faith, thank, and transformation. Amen? Amen? And as they said, it is time for us to go. So let us have our benediction and we will have our doxology. Now unto him who is able to keep you and to present your faultless before the throne of grace with exceeding great joy unto an all-wise and powerful God 
will forever be majesty, dominion, and power. It's for now and forevermore.